That may have been too much. Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. So I rolled out of bed, went downstairs, made myself a cup of coffee, put my hair up, and now I am sitting at my desk because I actually have a call at 9 a.m. and it's seven minutes till. But even more exciting is I am on a new camera. I don't know if you can tell from like this angle because I don't know I don't have that much behind me but I got the Canon EOS M50 if you saw on my Instagram stories and it's in white and it's beautiful and I just am so excited to make better and new content with this with higher quality. So these were the two cameras I've had before the EOS 70D and this is the Sigma lens I'm going to try to put on this camera and then the Canon G7X Mark II. Both of, I've had this one for like eight years it seems like maybe less but this one since the beginning of high school. Honestly, I was just ready for an in-between camera and that's what this one's supposed to be because this one was too much work to set up in my dorm and then this one it just wasn't the quality that I was wanting and I wanted to have more options like a mic and a lens with this one. So we got the M50 and I'm so excited to use it. I literally came in the mail last night and I'm like, okay, we're vlogging today so we can do this. Um, but today is Wednesday, April 22nd and I feel like I know someone who has a birthday today. I need, I wanna film some new videos with my camera, of course. I have some business calls, like the one I'm about to get on here at nine. And I also am getting ready for finals because my last day of classes for sophomore year was yesterday, which was, which is crazy. So I thought it'd be a good mix of school and business in this video for you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna get ready to hop on this call. I don't know if it is, I know it's through Zoom. I don't know if we're doing video and audio or just audio. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, so the meeting went really well. Um, I'm excited, it's not set in stone yet, so we'll see if it happens, but prayed about it. If it's meant to be, it'll be. I made myself another cup of coffee, a new one. Haven't drunk any yet and it's 10 o'clock um, because my other one had way too much lavender. One drop is all you need, but I still need to do my devotions, but I want to get this video done and processed so it can be ready to upload later today. So I'm going to record the voiceover section to my glow up routine, but I'll just let you guys go and watch it. I'll link it up here. It was so fun to film and it was something different as well. So if you are bored and you want to like have a little glow up routine at home, go watch that video in the description box is like all the links to all the products. All right, we're gonna start with the nails because I got these in the mail and I was so excited to try them out. Did that all pretty much in one take. There you go. <laughs> Wes is jealous of my new camera. Yes. That's nice. But what show did you start? So, well, I may or may not be starting it in school. <laughs> <laughs> They're in glass. In glass. What, you just put the captions on? No, I just listen, I just watch it. <laughs> but I haven't done it yet, so you, I can't get in trouble for it. Okay. But uh, basically, JD was telling me about it, and it's basically like these kids who live on the Outer Banks, who they're like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's sort of like a treasure hunt, but modern day. Would mom and I like it? Maybe. It's like a modern day Goonies. Okay, that sounds fun. But mom doesn't like Goonies, so I don't know. Is it gory or scary? I, get, I think so, because I think there's like shooting and stuff. Mm, interesting. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, fun in class. How is it already 10.30? I'm still editing. All right, so it is now 11 a.m. Dang, that autofocus is so good on this camera. Um, did my devotions, and now I made myself some breakfast. I made a smoothie today is what I was feeling. In here we have frozen banana, frozen strawberry, spinach, peanut butter, almond milk, and chocolate protein powder. And yeah, I have to finish up some projects for classes today, along with maybe start on some more final exams or you're just getting ready for them. And then I also, oh, I need to upload this YouTube video. It exported, but I need to upload it. And in about 30 minutes, I have another call, which I can tell you about.
Hi Faith, this is Hannah. I'm doing so good, how are you? Um, it honestly, yes, yeah, I came back from school. And just people in their 20s in general, maybe people who, I talked to my parents a lot about these things, and I feel like it was very common, you know, few, not few, like 10 plus years ago, a lot of people had these things called mentors, like people in their life. It's in our day and age, I think so much of our content is online, which is great because it's more accessible. But at the same time, I feel like we think that we have to figure it right through mentors in my own life. And so while this is a solo podcast, because I want to enter figuring things out, but who have shaped me in it for a very long time, been at it for a while and maybe. All right, I just did some mad fit workouts. So I'm looking a little sweaty and then I made a Greek salad with chicken for lunch and had an almond flour cookie, just telling you. And now I made some green tea because I wasn't really in a coffee mood, but I got like a wave of feeling tired. So packages are wrapped as well. I am going to take a shower and do my makeup, get ready to film, and then I have some ideas for how what I want to do tonight. But I also haven't done any schoolwork today, so... We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I have a mic on. I don't know if it sounds different. I don't even know if the mic's fully plugged in. I did my makeup and I just slicked my hair back. I didn't want to wait for it to dry. So I literally slicked it back wet into this bun to film. I just filmed my video. It was like 15 minutes. I'm really thirsty. I feel like YouTubers don't talk about that, but a lot. But when you're talking and sitting there for 15 to 20 minutes, like I get parched and tired. <laughs> Imagine talking to your friend straight for 15 minutes without stopping. Hair is down and it's gonna dry. I am going to get my tea and I'm trying to decide if I want to go to the post office now or film some more, do some editing. I don't know yet. Also this outfit, this outfit, I have like this little cropped uh, tank top and then a jean jacket on top, but then I'm in my joggers again and I got my new earrings from a really sweet Etsy shop. Um, I'll link them below, but yeah, let's figure out what Hannah is going to do next. Where's the off button? Forgot the car tripod, so we're holding the camera up, but I'm going to go to the post office to mail out some orders, and then I decided I could do homework, but I really need to do something for me, get out of the house, and I haven't listened to my podcast in a really long time because I normally listen to them when I'm driving or walking to class, and I haven't done either of those things. So um, after I go to the post office, I'm gonna go to our local park and just walk outside. I brought my AirPods. I'm not gonna worry about running or like working out. Like this is strictly a nice walk while listening to my podcast, catching up. And I'm just really excited for that. I also wanted to show you guys these masks that my mom ordered from a Nashville artist. So we're supporting the local business and they're gorgeous. Um, and so we got like a whole set of these and I think she's just restocking them. So I'm going to tie this around my face, obviously, and wear it into the post office. There's tons of artists, maybe even in your local area, that are sewing their own masks and making them super pretty. Um, just for something fun, you know? So I'm sure if you go on Instagram, you can find someone near you too. So yeah, just a little PSA. All right, here we are at the gorgeous park. It doesn't, well, as soon as I was about to say it doesn't look crowded, all these people come by. Oh, and there's someone in the car next to me, cute. But the playground is like all roped off, which is really smart. Got my AirPods. I'm gonna see which podcasts I wanna listen to. Maybe I'll switch it up in between. We'll see, just gonna walk till I'm bored. <laughs> All right, it's been a few hours. I've just been sitting here in my room. It's dark out now, obviously. Editing the beginning of this vlog, actually, along with 
the video that I have to send out tomorrow that I filmed today. I have to finish filming some shots tomorrow. And then I decided to finally start working on one of my projects <laughs> for my entrepreneurship class. We have to come up with a new business idea and like present it. And I thought of doing like an all female gym, but not just a gym, also like a self care center. Here's some ideas. Um, and I'm creating a logo for it. So I don't know if I like this or not. I'm getting to the point where I'm realizing how much work I still have to do for these projects and I'm getting stressed out about tomorrow. But, oh well, you know what? Probably should not have procrastinated doing them today, but oh well, it is what it is. They will get done tomorrow. But I am gonna, it's only 8.30, so I'm gonna work on them for a little while longer, but my laptop is dying. The struggle, okay. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is now Thursday. I just recorded this whole three minute clip without my mic turned on, so here we go again, but gonna have to get used to that. I decided to extend this vlog, of course, because I didn't get to any school yesterday, um, and I know you guys like to see how I manage all of that, and just thought I'd make it longer, since you, I think you guys like the longer content um, when it comes to vlogs. But anyway, to be honest, I felt a little bit overwhelmed this morning when I'm thinking about all the stuff I have to get done before tomorrow, and so I went to my Dream Achieve workbook and laid it all out, and honestly, it's making me feel a lot less anxious and overwhelmed because I realized I can get everything done that I need to. So I thought I would show you guys real quick how I planned out my day. I'm gonna hope this sounds good. <laughs> this camera quality though, so nice. All right, so as you can see, I didn't use it at all on Wednesday, which is totally fine. Some days I don't wanna write down everything, but days like today where I have a lot to get done, I like to lay it all out. So as you can see, I have two projects to do, even though these are fun projects, they're due tomorrow morning, so I have to get them done. And then I also wanna finish up my finance homework so I can just work on my exam for finance over the weekend this autofocus. Then I have to do, um, I want to do two IG posts. I want to do an Instagram in-feed post because it's been almost a week and I have some stories I want to do. And then I need to edit and film some more for a video that's due today for a brand. So I have to send that over by like 5 p.m. Um, so then once I have my to-do list, I write it all out in the time blocking section. So here we go. I'm going to do work on my podcast, media project, and finance homework in the, over the next hour. Entrepreneurship presentation, film and edit, hopefully send that video over by lunchtime, work out, do my IG posts during the day, time of day where my followers are most active, which is in the afternoon. And then I put coffee date here because I wanted to use my social stickers, but really that is just my Zoom online um, Bible study, but we're, we'll treat it like a coffee date. And so now that I realized I can get all of this done, I am going to try to set some timers on my phone, like 30 minutes to record the podcast for my media project and see if I can get that done in that time. But yeah, I normally will just set this over here so I can be reminded of it throughout the day. And okay, let's get started. I just added cottage cheese on top of my oatmeal. <laughs> Am I weird? Yeah, but I've missed the taste of cottage cheese, so glad we have some now. Just started eating it in college because it was in our dining hall. <laughs> For the past two hours, I've been filming some last clips for my how to get out of a funk video, and then I just upload it, and I'm getting ready to send it to my manager so they can submit it to the brand, and I'm trying to make sure everything's good. Okay. Send. All right, so I'm going to put this laundry away and then do a good workout. Um, my mom picked me up this booty band yesterday at Target, and I'm, I've never owned one myself. I've used them in classes, but never had one myself. So I'm going to do a flat tummy workout because I'm currently working on a video with them, and then also look up maybe some YouTube exercises for this. So I'm excited to open it up. 
This one's from my girls at Tone It Up and it's the high resistance one. So this will be good. <laughs> Sorry, the wind is so loud. I hope you can hear me, but I made a tropical smoothie for lunch with frozen mango, pineapple, a, like a quarter of an avocado for creaminess, and then vanilla protein powder, maca powder, collagen, and then put some coconut granola on top. So gonna drink this and it's so nice out. It's like 65 Fahrenheit. Some people <laughs> forget that um, I use Fahrenheit. Oh, there's a spider. Go away, little spider. It's just what you get for working outside, I guess. But I'm going to do some work outside. I, I haven't worked on my entrepreneurship presentation yet today, so that's what I need to hopefully finish. Made some coffee, and now I'm about to join my Zoom Bible study. All right, this is Zoomed in. Bible study was super good. It's always nice to just talk with other girls my age about things going on and struggles and victories. So that was really good. And guys, I just decided to do something really exciting. So if you saw my stories today, my Instagram stories, you would know all about this, but I love For the Girl. Um, it is a resource created by Delight Ministries. The founders went to Belmont, Mac and Ken's, know them, love them. Um, and their summer series just came out and you can lead a group, oops, so I'm going to get the book and I signed up to be a group leader so I can, I'm going to do it through Zoom. And so I think like unlimited people can sign up. I don't really know what it's all about, but I just signed up. And so hopefully they'll get back to me and say I can lead. Um, and yeah, you guys can join me. So once it's like set in stone, I'll probably do it, start it in June, maybe May, maybe May through June. Um, we'll see. But yeah, more information coming sooner, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this now and I'm so excited. I'm also shopping the Sephora sale because I'm only an insider. I really don't buy that many beauty products throughout the year. So I only get 10% off for their spring sale, but hey, might as well take advantage of it. Want me to speak? Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey guys, we're on the new camera. What golf are they playing? This is from 2015. Oh. Hey, you gotta watch what you can watch. We're here, we are cooking dinner with Mama. She's over there. Wait. What are we having? We are having maple glaze with lime, salmon, tacos, mm -hmm. with rice, salsa, and black beans. That's what we're having. Is this coconut rice? It is not. Oh. I could have done coconut rice, but I did not. I didn't know if it would be good with Obi's the... Obi's out of breath because he's out of, he's out of shape. He is now. And are we going to watch Outer Banks tonight? Maybe. Maybe. It's so, so good. Have you tried the other lenses on this? Oh, and I have brownies. It doesn't uh, work. I know. What's wrong? My big Sigma oh. lens doesn't fit on that camera. Oh. So you're going to have to keep the big camera and let me use it. Or sell it. Can we go in the pool? It's like 60 degrees outside. It still goes in. It's been a while since I've vlogged for you. Okay, we're gonna go eat outside. Let's go. Come on, guys. We're gonna go eat. Is dinner ready? Dinner ready. All right. This is the guy that impersonates David Dobrik. He like completely rips off David Dobrik. All right, it is time to record. Let's see. 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 Let's see just like Windows PowerPoint, you can record like this and it will record the screen and it'll give you your notes and it's super cool. So there's a little tip for you guys if you have to record a presentation, not your face in it, but just the audio, there's the option in PowerPoint. You just go right here under slideshow to record slideshow. Okay, let's do this. All right, so it is now 9.30 and I think I am gonna hop on a FaceTime like prayer call with another one of my small groups. But, that's in like 30 minutes. But my family and I, we just watched the first episode of Outer Banks on Netflix and 
I gotta say it was really good. <laughs> what Wes and I were laughing about is they depicted like how teens act so well. It's like based in 2020 and it, the main characters are mostly guys because it's exactly how Gen Z boys act. And some of the things are so stupid, but it's a good show. And we only watched the first episode. There's 10 and they're like an hour each. So we're probably gonna want, watch one a night, but let me know if you guys have watched it yet or going to. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this these two day in the lives right here. I'm really excited for them to go up and show you guys this new quality. I'm so excited. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, my back hurts from bending over right here. So peace out. See you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.